Hello everyone, my name is Manuel Pitt. I'm with VMware Tech Marketing. In this quick video, I will give you an introduction how you can integrate VMware SolSec Config with Area Automation or formerly known as Realize Automation Cloud Templates. In this first part of this uh, short series, I will show you how you can create a cloud template which is deploying a new VM, installing the SolSec minion and applying a state to this machine and all of this with the out-of-the-box functionalities of area automation and source stack config before we start with the creation of our cloud template we need to make sure that source stack config is correctly integrated with area automation for this we go into cloud assembly and enter the infrastructure tab On the left pane, you need to scroll down to the very end and click the integration button, which will show you all of the third-party integrations you have with Area Automation or VRS Automation. Make sure you have an existing SolStack integration. In my case, I have a SolStack 8.10 integration here. If you click on this, you will see the connection details, host name, environment, and so on. If you have done it already, just save this and leave this screen. Let's start with the cloud template creation. For this, we're going to create a new template using the new form blank canvas, or I just prepared a small one here, a SolStack demo one, which already contains a machine and a network connection. So my machine is called web and connected to like a vSphere network. So what we're going to do is we're going to add SolStack resources to this canvas by just going on the left pane, scrolling a bit down, and you will find SolStack, SolStack config resource. And then you will just drag and drop this into your canvas. Once dropped, you will see a couple of error messages on your screen or like error symbols. The first one is the host and the master ID. Host means this is the machine where your SolStack minion will be deployed to. So we need to connect our SolStack resource with our machine. By doing this, you will see here on the right, our host is filled now with our resource for the web VM. Next error message you will see is this one here, which is asking you for a master ID. If you don't know what the master ID is, you can try it if the autofill will just propose you some value. This is the default value, SolStack Enterprise Installer. And if you don't know where this comes from, just go to your SolStack config UI. Go on the very left pane to the administration section here and click master keys. Then you will see master id and this is basically the master id you have to enter into your soul stack uh, resource and area automation this is one option or another option is using a property just to give you a quick uh, in, insight of the property usage just close your canvas or your cloud template and then in the design tab you will find property groups you can create a new property group or if it's pre-created, just use this source configuration property group, click on it, and then you will have these uh, properties here, which you can create. So master key, master address, master fingerprint, and those can be used then later on in your cloud template. For our quick demo, we will just keep doing this without the property. We will just use the static value like we did before by adding this here. All right, so when we now deploy a new VM with this template, a minion will be deployed and it will be auto-approved in SolStack config. When you do this, you will see two events on your SolStack config UI. So if you go back to your SolStack config UI, you have the activity section here on the left. Just clicking in progress or completed will show you the activity which is running or was running. And then you will see 
plenty of different activities and jobs which were executed. So what we're looking for is we are looking for this deploy minion and key accept um, function. So this deploy minion is basically when the minion was deployed to the machine and the key accept was the event for yeah, accepting the key automatically. All of this is triggered through we realize automation or area automation direct integration with source config that it so far so our vm is deployed and prepared for salt stack so the next step is we want to apply a state during the provisioning process for this we will find here on the left side a property called state files state files requires you to enter an array of state files which must be executed you can leave this empty like this if you don't want to run a state file or if you have a state file you want to run you need to add this here so by this just add a new line and enter the name of your state file it's important to know that you need to enter the full path down to your state file in my case for example it would be um, apache and then install apache.sls so this will point directly to the state file which must be applied one more detail is important you need to add the environment which this state file belongs to so in my case it's base so just have a quick reference uh, here on salt stack so in salt stack in the ui you go to config file server you will find your environment base here is the folder apache and inside Apache, you will find the install Apache state file. That's exactly the, uh, the value you need to paste into your YAML file or just copy paste this path name here. All right, that's it for now. You can deploy a VM, install the minion, accept the key and apply a state to your machine. By now, we did not use any complex scripting skills or writing extended command lines. No, we just used the out of the box functionalities of area automation and source the config. And this is just to show you how easy it is to start with the source stack integration in cloud automation templates. In the next part of this series, I will show you how you can pass a variable from cloud template inputs into your state files and how you can add a custom grain into your uh, yeah, new deployed VM.